Hello, my name is Daniel Minera, and um, I am from Guatemala, and I am so excited to live today in Cincinnati. It's been a journey for me and my family. At the age of six, we moved from Guatemala, and we came to this beautiful country, and we lived in Miami, Florida for 21 years. My parents, like many immigrants, had to work day and night, and I was a product of the inner city public school system in Miami, Florida. I really didn't know how that was going to play out in my life as an adult. Uh, it was tough, but it was uh, insightful for me. Looking back, I thank God for that opportunity. Today I'm the uh, director of um, Hispanic Outreach for City Gospel Mission, and I have been working for the past three years directly with the community here in Cincinnati of Hispanic families, immigrant families from Latin America, and through that, I was involved, I got involved to the Cincinnati Public School System as part of the local school decision-making committee, I'm a member of that committee at Roberts Academy. And, you know, I realized that what makes this city so wonderful and beautiful is the diversity that we have, is the importance that we are as a city to be international. I believe Cincinnati to be international. I believe that to be a future of our city. But, the big but here for me has been many of the families that make up Cincinnati Public Schools are the families I directly work with. Students and families that are living in poverty, students and families who are in communities that don't have a lot of resources, and Cincinnati Public Schools through their Community Learning Center approach have been able to bring in partnerships with the community, with the private organizations, public organizations, not-for-profit organizations. I am a product of that vehicle. I came in to Roberts Academy working in the community to work with the local school decision-making committee because they were asking themselves the question, we have almost 30% of our population of students are Hispanic, and we need help. And as a community partner, we, I, I came in, and I began to work with them began to work with the families because we need, I believe, that if we're going to be a strong city and a strong district school, we need to hold everybody accountable. Parents we need to instruct them, but we need to teach them. A lot of the families that we work with at Cincinnati Public Schools, they know the resources are there, but many of them don't know how to get them or how to really support their students that don't know how to read at the accurate level or that need help with their homework. Because it's, it's good that we promote a high quality education in our schools and trust me, I will work as a board member to make sure that we continue to pursue that through the implementation of common core standards. But we also need to be sensitive about what is the background of these families and what do they need? And yes, it's going to take the community approach to do this because as you are aware, Funding is a big issue not only in the city, but also in the school district. So, my background has been with the youth and families. I mentor and I tutor families uh, as part of my leadership role at City Gospel and in the community, in the Hispanic community. I've been a youth pastor. I've been a Sunday school teacher. And for the past three years, I've been finding myself mentoring families individually on what it takes to live in this country as well. And when I parallel that with the Cincinnati public school system, I have to acknowledge that as much as we do have to focus on their education, we also have to focus not only on immigrant families, but on our families here uh, that, are, that are living in Cincinnati, on what it is to have good character. Yes, I want a 12th grader to graduate with the best possible education, but I also feel like it's our responsibility to instill in them good citizenship, good character. Now, why do I mention all of this to you? Because the board is comprised of seven individuals making decisions that are going to affect the overall policy and procedure of what is going to take place in our schools. And I love the fact that we can bring in teachers and financial specialists but we need to have a voice at the board from somebody that's coming from the community and can represent our, in, our families, our individual families in each community. And that's what I do every day. I work with
with these families. Every day, I go into the school to find out what the teachers need, what the families need. I try to look for community resources. And we need a voice on the board that can be sensitive to the cultures of the international families that are here in Cincinnati, of the difficulties that some of our families have to get resources from nutrition to health, to working on being better parents, to get out of that transitional poverty and back on their feet, to move out of that generational poverty and break that. So I'm asking for your vote. I'm asking you to consider having a voice from someone that's in the community who has the knowledge and can very well advocate for these families. My name is Daniel Minera and I'm running for Cincinnati Public School.